This is a video about setting up a syringe driver. Your nurse or pharmacist may have given you a syringe pre-filled with a medication to put into a syringe driver. The purpose of this video is to teach you how to put the syringe into the driver or to start the driver and attach it to the um, subcutaneous line in your patient or loved one. You will need a pre-filled syringe of medication, an extension set of tubing, a syringe driver, an alcohol swab, and your patient. First, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and dry them thoroughly. Locate your subcut line. And make sure you've got the correct patient and the medication and the dose. If your medication is correct, attach the tubing to the syringe. We'd like to use this end Next, we don't want any air in the tubing, so what we're going to do is push on the syringe slowly so that the fluid moves through the tubing. And it may drip out the end, and that shows that there's no air left in the tubing. Put the syringe down in a clean um, place, and then prepare your syringe driver. The first thing we want to do is make sure that this lever at the top is out of the way. And how we do that is we pull it all the way to the top and twist it away. Then we can switch the syringe driver on using this button here. It will make some sounds as this moves. Once it says load syringe, we want to take our syringe here and we're going to fit it at the top. There are two points we want to connect. The first one is the end at this part and the second is this part. If it seems like it's not going to fit, you can use the arrows down here to move this area so that it fits nicely. So we may take a few tries. But as long as it clicks and is secure, then you can line up to make sure that it's in the center, looking at it from above. Once you're comfortable with this position, we want to lift this lever back up to the top, twist it, and let it sit to hold it in place. If you've done it correctly, the syringe driver should beep. And now we can see the name of a syringe. In this case, it says, 20 mils to Rumo. At this point, we'd like you to check and see if you can see the words to Rumo, and we can here. This means it's the correct syringe for the correct setup. If you find that they don't match, ring the hospice to check. Now that you've got that in place and you're happy with the name of the syringe, we can press the green play button. And here we can see some details, the volume, the duration, and the rate. We'd just like you to confirm the duration says 24, and that means that this syringe will be going for 24 hours. Once that's in place, we'd like you to press the green button again to start the infusion. We can say yes. Now that this is starting, we can connect the tubing to the patient. What we'd like to do is hold the end of the, of the subcutaneous line and open up an alcohol swab to clean the area. You can rub firmly for a couple of seconds and leave it to dry. While this is in the air and safe from any bugs, we want you to take the end of the other side of the tubing and also clean this. When both sides are dry, after about 20 seconds, we just connect, push firmly at the end and screw tightly. The medication in the syringe driver is now going through the tubing and into the arm.